Hi everyone, welcome to All Inspired. My name is Amanda. If you're new here and on my channel, we like to do all things inspiring, which means we like to do a lot of homemaking content. And in today's video, I'm gonna do kind of like a little day in the life type of video. I'm in the spare room. You can clearly see we need to get a bunch of cleaning done in here. We have the bed needs to be made, dusting, all that. The whole house needs to be cleaned up. We've been really, really busy this weekend. And so I just need to go through and get everything completely cleaned up. set up for the laundry this week we have so much laundry we have so much going on i'm literally like way behind i haven't been able to keep up on it and so i just grabbed out these bins that i already had they were in my little cube divider i didn't have many things in them so i just pulled them out and i'm using them for little um, dividers one for me one's for the girls if you're one of those people that you work all week long and you don't have time to do a load of laundry every day this is a great way to do it i find it kind of annoying to have to stop everything that you're doing to switch fold and put away all the laundry so I like to do it this way I just switch them I fold them I put them in the baskets and then at the end of the evening I give each of the baskets to who they belong to and they can go ahead and put away their own laundry so I think this is a great idea if you do your laundry once a week or if you go on a big vacation and you have a ton of laundry this is a great hack to go ahead and make it easier on yourself. Okay, I'm gonna move down here and start working on this area. You can see, uh, we just have a mess. Like, not too terrible, but just, just a mess. Like, just random things laying around. Um, the table had breakfast and lunch eaten on it, and it was never wiped down. So you can see, just where the kids eat. <laughs> that needs to be cleaned up. The kitchen. We had snacks last night, we had breakfast, we had lunch. This place is a mess, definitely needs to be cleaned. Random things in the living room that need to be picked up. So yeah, the whole house just needs really good cleaning. I need to start picking up all the stuff, get all of this taken care of, but first I'm gonna go switch the laundry.
After I got everything all cleaned up, I sat down and had some lunch. I was scrolling through social media and I ended up seeing a post from a girl that I went to middle school with and I later on ended up cleaning her home for her and um, she lost her husband. And I didn't know him very well, however, because of what happened to my husband last fall having life saving surgery, um, this just really hit home for me. and. I just feel so devastated for her and for her family. Um, I just couldn't imagine. Um, I'm so grateful that my husband is here and that he made it through everything. Uh, but I am so, so sad that she's going through this. I mean, it just breaks my heart for her and for her family and for her kids. And I'm just, I'm so sad for her. So we're gonna head over to Missouri. We're gonna deliver her this basket and then I'm gonna take my daughter along to some places. This is actually where I grew up. This is my childhood home. I'm not going to invade their privacy, but I'll just show you a little glimpse. I lived on 118 acres. We had no heat, no AC. We lived off of a wood burning stove and then an AC uh, unit and this is where my bus went through. Uh, I was lucky enough that our bus went through here first so I was able to go and enjoy all of these beautiful homes and daydream about one day having a home that was like this and this is probably the very reason why every single time I meet someone with a very nice home I ask them what they do for a living because as a young middle schooler I often wondered how in the world people could afford these amazing homes but for middle school and high school my bus went through this neighborhood and it was just such a beautiful area and it's such a change to come back when you're grown because the trees are so little and now they're all grown up and huge and it's just it looks different it feels different because the trees are huge and oh by the way that is an elevator yes you're not seeing things that is an elevator right in the middle of their home well actually towards the side but how neat is that i don't i don't even know i, I don't know why you need one but maybe they do maybe they need it but how cool is this neighborhood? I just wanted to show you guys just a real quick, quick glimpse of what my childhood was like, where my bus went through. My daughter thought this was so neat. And actually, when she was a little kid, we went through here to look at Christmas lights. It was always one of my favorite areas to come. And we were just slowly creeping down the street, just looking at all the beautiful lights. And she was probably like five. And she said, okay, let's go in. Like she thought we got to go in and tour their homes. It was so funny. But this is where it all started. This is where I brought my daughter home. This second story apartment was ours. It was a two bedroom, one bath, little apartment. These stairs are the stairs that I walked up with my little daughter in her pumpkin seat. This is where we brought her home. We were actually in the transition of moving and we were hoping to be moved before she was born, but it didn't work out. So when she was a month old, we moved into the second house and this window on the left is really where her nursery was. Right down the road, this is where my sister lived and and this was actually years prior to me delivering my daughter but I just wanted to show my daughter where she lived and it was really cool to go see her old home this is Main Street we went ahead and went down to Main Street it's so beautiful down here we had a little dessert and we went ahead and went into a few couple uh, little shops and just explored the area and really just went on a walk through memory lane I hope you really enjoyed this video 